Jadav is back at it here to give everyone some more fantasy football content. I know a lot of you like fantasy football, especially Superflex Dynasty League fantasy football stuff. And you're probably preparing for your rookie drafts if you haven't already done so well. I actually started a new league this year after the Super Bowl. We had our regular draft after the Super Bowl, drafted all the regular NFL players. And we just had our rookie draft. Instead of giving you a mock draft, I'm going to let you guys know the first two rounds of what happened in this particular Superflex Dynasty League. Um, everybody almost had the same number of picks. There weren't that many trades because it was a, a new league started, although a lot of people are in other leagues with me. Uh, one person did trade up to 102 for three first-round picks, one this year, one next year, and one the, next, the year after. But other than that, that's how it was. So I'm going to go player by player. And then what I'm going to do is compare the player versus the players that they have at that position just to give you some insight on where people are going. So hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. Smash that like button and hit that sub button. And let's get rocking. All right, here are those draft results I was talking about. The team that had the first pick of the rookie draft had the last pick in the regular draft. And no surprise here, he went with uh, Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence seems like he's going to be really good. I think I think he might be a little overhyped, possibly, but he's done enough to get that uh, the, those accolades. So uh, it'll be nice because he he needs a couple more quarterbacks. He only has Dak Prescott and Daniel Jones, so Trevor Lawrence will be a good fit, a good third quarterback. Um, I'm not sure if he'll play him this year. He might keep him on the taxi squad, but it's a good pick for pick 101. Pick 102, this pick was actually one of the trades in the draft. It was traded for three first-round picks. A pick this year, a pick next year, and a first-rounder the year after that. And it was a guy that really likes the San Francisco 49ers. So, no surprise here, he went with Trey Lance. Trey Lance has the most potential out of all the quarterbacks in this draft. Kind of reminds me, well, I don't know if his skill set necessarily reminds me, but the hype around him kind of reminds me of Patrick Mahomes. But he needs some some tooling. If Trey Lance is going to be that good, or maybe compared to Lamar Jackson, but he can throw better, this should be really interesting. And the 49ers, they have some nice weapons. Uh, Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, and, of course, the great George Kittle. So uh, as far as the quarterbacks on this roster, he's got Justin Herbert and Jared Goff. So a good third, well, a good second quarterback, Jared Goff, is terrible, but who knows? Maybe he'll turn it around in Detroit. Yeah, right. Anyway, moving on to pick three. This is where the draft gets interesting. It's super flex, so people are going to draft quarterbacks, but I think at this point it should have probably been either Najee Harris or Kyle Pitts, my opinion, and this person took Justin Fields. I liked Justin Fields a lot going into the draft. In fact, in another Superflex Dynasty League that I have with my Fantasy League, I have pick 102, and I was going to take Justin Fields. But then he went to the Bears. So I'm probably going to tr pick Trey Lance at this point. Maybe Kyle Pitts. Maybe I'll go with Najee Harris. I only have Austin Eckler and Chris Carson as running backs. But, uh, I mean, Justin Fields could be big, but Trubisky had some good games, but it was very inconsistent. He's not going to have a lot of weapons, Justin Fields, to play with. He's got Allen Robinson and Darnell Moody. That's about it. I mean, Tariq Cohen and David Robinson, or David Robinson, David Montgomery are okay, but that's Coca Bet. Nah, I don't know. I would have rather seen Justin Fields go to a better situation, but it remains to be seen. As far as quarterbacks on this roster, he has Kirk Cousins, he has Deshaun Watson, he has Sam Darnold. I think Sam Darnold's actually going to have a good year. Or at least decent year. Cousins, it might be his last year as a starter. Watson, he might not play at all this year. I don't know. I would have thought he would have been already suspended. So obviously they're looking into it still. Which means they're not finding proof. of what, I don't know. But uh, I would have took Harris or Pitts at this point. But hey, you need a quarterback, I guess. So it is what it is. Pick 104. A guy who I think was more of a reach. Again, this is a point where I would have taken Pitts or Najee Harris. And that would be Zach Wilson. The Jets seem to have a lot of weapons at this point, but they haven't played together yet. They have Corey Davis now. They have Elijah Moore. 
and we shall see. If Wilson goes off, though, it's going to be fun and exciting for Jets fans, that's for sure. But when did Jets quarterbacks ever do that great? I mean, Sam Darnall was supposed to be the greatest player ever, and he didn't do that great. He was really shitty in games, and then towards the end of the year, he'd have a couple of good games and seem very year. As far as quarterbacks on this particular team, uh, to add quarterback depth, he has Jameis Winston, Joe Burrow, and that's it. So just three quarterbacks. Typically, the teams that have the higher picks need quarterbacks, in my experience with Dynasty, especially when you're starting the league up. 105, another quarterback. Again, I would have taken Pitts or Najee Harris at this point, but I didn't have those early picks. I had the second pick of the draft. So I took Christian McCaffrey, so that meant I picked 11th in the rookie draft. But this person went with Mac Jones. I don't think Mac Jones is a top 10 player. I think he's rated around 11 or 12, in my opinion. I don't know if he's going to play this year. I mean, he's got he's got some good things on his record. He had some good players to throw the ball to, though, as well. And who knows, maybe there'll be a resurgence from Cam Newton this year, and they won't have to use Mac Jones. But it is what it is. I guess the Superflex Dynasty, you're going to want to take the quarterback. He also has Russell Wilson and Jimmy Garoppolo, as well as Matt Ryan. So a few good quarterbacks on this team, if you call Matt Ryan and Jimmy Garoppolo a good quarterback. I don't know. That remains to be seen at this point. But Russell Wilson, I think, is solid still. And he's pretty durable, too. So that's uh, 105. Finally, we get to people other than quarterbacks. At 106, we have Najee Harris. A lot of people complain about his landing spot in Pittsburgh. I think he's going to tear it up in Pittsburgh. In my, in my opinion, next year for redraft leagues, Najee Harris is going to be a top seven pick. Or I should say he's going to be ranked top seven. I think he's going to be the offensive player of the year or close to it, if not. As far as this team goes, I think this team is probably going to have the first pick next year. He only has Ben, ben Roethlisberger and Ryan Fitzpatrick, Drew Block, Jalen Hurts. Well, I guess he's better than that, actually. As far as running backs that he can put in his lineup, he's got uh, Mitchell on San Francisco, another late pick he had, Zach Moss, Jonathan Taylor, My Miles Sanders, Jalen Samuels, Sony Michelle. I'm surprised. I bet Sony Michelle gets cut before the season starts. But it is what it is. Uh, Najee Harris is going to be good. People that are hating on Pittsburgh, he's going to be awesome for that offense. I think so. Their offensive line was bad last year, but can they get worse? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Pick 107, our first wide receiver taken in the draft, the best wide receiver in this draft class, Jamar Chase. I think this is a good good pick. Pitts may have been the better option, but do you really want to waste a first-round pick on a tight end? Pitts is a one-of-a-kind tight end, though. I can't remember this much hype about a tight end. Um, it's I, I don't even know if there has been hype about a tight end. Even Gronk was kind of an afterthought when he got taken. But uh, he should be pretty good on this team. Um, they have some quarterbacks. They've got Matt Stafford, who I think is going to have a really good year at the Rams. Uh, Kyler Murray. Jordan Love. Who knows if Jordan Love will see the field this year. It's a cluster fucking Green Bay. That's for sure. Uh, as far as the wide receivers on this team that will compliment Jamar Chase, there's a, a pretty good uh, slew of them on this team. Denzel Mims is a guy that's probably underrated. Wow, this team has a lot of young wide receivers. A.J. Brown, Juju Smith-Schuster, Tyler Boyd, Sammy Watkins. Okay, Sammy Watkins probably sucks. He also drafted uh, Eskridge and Marshall um, as well in this draft. So that's, that's a nice crop of receivers for this team. Pick 108. This was a pick that was also traded, and it went to, or the pick was Kyle Pitts the best tight end in rookie drafts in the last however many years. This is going to be an awesome pick. I really like the pick. Maybe this team needed different players at this position, but this pick also went to the team that got Trevor Lawrence. Uh, so that's good. In addition to Kyle Pitts at tight end, this team has Dallas Goddard, David Njoku, Troutman on uh, the Saints. I think he's going to be the number one tight end because Jared Cook went to somebody else. And uh, it's going to be a nice team. This is uh, two good rookies. Wow. Trey Lance, or Trey Lance, Trevor Lawrence and Kyle Pitts. That's that's going to be some uh, 
some good weapons, and I think this team's going to do really good. Or at least their taxi squad will do really good, depending on if he plays uh, the players or not. 109 went... This went with, or this person went with Travis Etienne. I didn't really like the landing spot, but you know we've seen running backs taken before where their landing spot was questionable. Um, just off the top of my head, I remember when the Saints got Alvin Kamara and they already had uh, Adrian Peterson and Mark Ingram. Alvin Kamara took over that offense. And then, of course, last year when the Lions drafted DeAndre Swift, they also had Adrian Peterson and um, Johnson, who just got released, actually, which is crazy. Uh, he went to the Eagles. But uh, I think don't don't give up on Ethan yet because he could be this year's Alvin Kamara. And he could still, you know, they could use him and James Robinson, kind of like the Saints used Mark Ingram and Alvin Kamara for so many years. Or Alvin Kamara and um, who's the guy that they love? Latavius Murray. So that remains to be seen. But I think it's a good pick. I mean, you're getting the, the at least the second best running back in this draft class. As far as other running backs on this team, he's got Gio Bernard, who went to the Buccaneers. Delvin Cook, Chris Carson, Miles Gaskin, Leonard Fournette. So that's uh, a good running back class. Some weak quarterbacks on this team. David Carr, the recently retired Alex Smith, Mitch Trubisky, or Mitchell Trubisky, Stitham on uh, the Patriots, Tua on the Dolphins. So going to be uh, a good running team. I sense possibly a really high pick next year for this particular team, uh, assuming they still have their pick, which it looks like. Moving on, we have pick 110. And that was also to the team. Wow, this team got a lot of good picks. So this also went to the team that got Trevor Lawrence and Kyle Pitts. And we have Javante Williams, who rose up the draft boards. He could be really, really good. I mean, you've only got Melvin Gordon there. Phil Lindsley is no longer there. And uh, Javante Williams could have a lot of carries, especially with an offense that may or may not have Aaron Rodgers. It, uh, it could be a good year, especially for this team that's loaded with players. They must have gave up a bunch of picks uh, in future drafts or something like that. I, I don't remember how this team got all these picks, but um, I'll have to check that out or see what happened, how they get all these picks. Anyway, uh, Williams is going to be good. This team is, uh, you know, we've already talked about the players that they have, so there's, there's no real reason to go over it again. But, hey, why not? So at running back, he's going to join... Harris on the Patriots, Cam Akers. It's kind of a weak running back, actually. I mean, you got Akers and you've got uh, Damian Harris, but that's about it. And then now we have come to pick 111, which was my pick. And I went with Jalen Waddle. I have seen lots of good stuff about Waddle. I really wanted Devonta Smith. He was there. I went with Waddle, and then I regretted it, but a lot of people were telling me I made the right pick. It remains to be seen. Um, I could have used a young quarterback, not going to lie. I didn't get very many young quarterbacks in the draft. In fact, I picked some really, really old quarterbacks, but uh, my receiving core is going to be pretty solid. I've got Adam Thielen. I've got Jay Crowder. I've got Stephon Diggs. I've got the recent, recently retired Julian Edelman, Alan Lazard. Terry McLaurin. So, um, and I also got Wallace on the uh, the uh, Ravens, Tylen Wallace. So I think it's going to be really good. They have a revamped wide receiver crew in uh, Baltimore, and it could be really awesome. He probably won't play this much this year, but I think Waddle's a good pick. I, I wanted Smith. I tried to trade him for him, actually. That hasn't happened yet. I'm just talking about my other guys that I have. Because I wanted quarterbacks. I only got uh, Cam Newton. I did, end up, I did end up picking Ian Book on the Saints. He probably won't play at all this year unless Winston and Taysom Hill get hurt. I've got Andrew Luck because, well, I, Andrew Luck was there. And I wanted to at least get some sort of value. If he doesn't play, he doesn't play. But, hey, if he decides to come back at some point, I'll hold on to him for at least probably three years. I got uh, Mr. Reliable, Tom Brady. 
Tom Brady's the GOAT, even though I don't really like Brady. But fantasy-wise, he doesn't usually let you down. I got Teddy Bridgewater. I was reaching for quarterbacks at that point in time. Jacoby Brissett, which he may play in Miami. I don't know if Tua is going to be that great. I don't like Tua. I picked Brett Favre because I'm a Packer fan, and Brett Favre was actually on the draft list way, way down there. He was higher ranked than Kurt Warner, though. So I picked Brett Favre just to be funny, and uh, I'll keep him on the team as long as I can if I, unless I need to release somebody. But I like that pick. You never know. Maybe the Packers will bring Favre back if Rodgers gets traded. And uh, that, those are my quarterbacks. Oh, no, I have Tannehill, too. I don't know if I said that or not. So Tannehill and Tom Brady and Cam Newton. And then I got Book and uh, Brissett and Bridgewater. So not too bad, I guess. But I could use one of the young stud quarterbacks. Not Book, though. Somebody like a Trey Lance or uh, Justin Smith would be. Uh, or Justin Smith. Justin Fields. I'm thinking Devonta Smith and uh, Justin Fields. And then the last pick in the first round um, goes to a team that really needed a quarterback, but there were no quarterbacks available. So he went with the best player available, which was Devonta Smith, who I wanted and immediately regretted. I think that's going to be a good pick, though. Uh, this team, as far as wide receivers go, let's see what we got here. We've got uh, KJ Hamler, Jalen Rager. I think Rager's going to have a good year. Cortland Sutton. DeAndre Hopkins, so okay receivers on this team. Could use some more depth. Of course, quarterbacks I mentioned, this team really needs a quarterback because all they have is Patrick Mahomes and Taysom Hill. I don't know if Hill's going to play a quarterback that much. It might be um, Jameis Winston, and of course he has Drew Brees still in case Brees decides to come back, which he could. Doubtful, but that's that. And then he had another pick um, for pick 201. And he picked Rashad Bateman. I think he's going to be really good on the Ravens. He, I think, is going to equal the season that Hollywood Brown had in his rookie season. And that's going to be great for that team. With my second round pick at 202, I went with Michael Carter. Because who else did the Jets really have to run the ball? They got some guys that are like abysmal numbers that don't do nothing. And I wanted value, so that's why I picked Carter. I instantly regretted it, though, but I got a lot of compliments with my draft. But uh, that's where I went. Pick 203, I think this was a reach, but it could turn out good in a year or two. This person went with Trey Sermon. A lot of hype behind this guy, but the landing spot wasn't the best. The 49ers, you know, they've got Jeff Wilson and Rasheem Mozart. And uh, the room for him to get carries is going to be few and far between. But like I'd mentioned before, you know, when you when you go to a certain landing spot, such as DeAndre Swift last year with Carryon Johnson and Adrian Peterson already on the depth chart, and when you get Alvin Kamara and you already have Mark Ingram and Adrian Peterson on the depth chart, depth chart, you never know what's going to happen. Pick two hundred four, a guy who I actually should have taken in the second round, I think. And then what would it be Rondell Moore? I really like the landing spot. I think he's going to have a phenomenal season on the Cardinals. But I wanted another running back because I already took the receiver. I was trying to build my depth up. Pick the best player available with uh, you know to improve my depth, is which I was what I was trying to do with this draft. So that's why I went Carter. But Moore, I think, is going to be great. And uh, he was taken earlier than I expected, actually. I thought he'd go, like, late second, possibly. So that was that. And next we have pick 205, a guy who I really liked going into the draft, and I wanted my hometown team, the Green Bay Packers, to pick. They did not. They This person took Elijah Moore. I think he's going to have a great season on the Jets. I think the Jets might actually have a good offensive arsenal this year. Of course, I could be completely wrong because I did say Zach Wilson might be a little overrated, but it is what it is. Pick 206, Terrence Marshall. I think this is a good pick and a good landing spot or a good spot for him. Not a reach in my opinion. And I think they will certainly benefit from not other nobody else taking him. Pick 207. This is a person that has uh, got a lot of hype recently especially with the landing spot because there's really nobody else on the team that you can throw the ball to. I mean, there are people, but they're pretty terrible. 
Amon Ross St. Brown of the Lions. He may or may not be really good. He was a fourth round selection, so that would be my only worry behind him that he wasn't drafted higher. But um, who else do the Lions have is the question, and they don't have much. And they don't have really a good guy that would throw the ball either. Goff sucks. I know Goff had a good year on the Rams before, but he's terrible. Well, he might be better than some people, but he's not that good. Anyway, moving along. Pick 208, we have the Green Bay Packers offensive rookie selection, Amari Rodgers. Amari Rodgers could be really good. He was a third-round pick, and this team, I think, is good that they drafted quarterback, then they went with wide receiver. I don't like when teams just draft the best player available and stock up on one position. I think depth is important, especially in Dynasty. And I think Rodgers actually could have a really awesome season especially if Valdez Scanling can't catch and Demonius St. Brown uh, can't do anything as well. You might see more of Rodgers with Devontae Adams and Robert Tunyon and maybe uh, Aaron Jones and um, who's the other receiver? Oh, Alan Lazard that the Packers got. 209, we have Cardarius Tony. He's been getting a lot of hype on the Giants and he was a first round pick. I'm not sure how he's going to do in the NFL, but he was a first-round pick, so that means you got the draft capital. Uh, it's a wide receiver, so they'll play. I don't know how good he's going to be, but it went to the same team that got Zach Wilson. I think this team did a good job of getting depth uh, on their team, personally. And then we're at, what are we at? Pick 210. We have our second tight end off the, bar, off the board. Pat Freermuth went uh, a lot of hype behind him. He was a second round pick. He went to the Steelers. The Steelers have had, they have still Eric Ebron. So that worries me that he won't get a lot of time, but Ebron could be traded or possibly released. I don't know why they would release him, but it could happen. This team is the same team that got Justin Fields. So next we have 211. And this team went with running back Kenneth Gainwell of the Philadelphia Eagles. You still have Miles Sanders. I don't know if they still have Boston Scott. I'll have to look that up, actually. I'm not sure how much Gainwell's going to play, but he only was a fifth-round selection. So I think that's that's a really high reach for a guy that was drafted in the fifth round. But maybe you know something I don't know. And then to round out the second round of the... Rookie draft, 212 was Nico Collins um, on the Texans. Well, the Texans don't have much for wide receivers. They lost Will Fuller in the offseason. And Nick Nico Collins actually could be really, really good. Now, he's only a third-round pick, but I think he'll play, and he might be actually very valuable. So there you have it. There was our... Newly formed leagues, first two rounds of our rookie draft. Let me know what you guys think as far as these draft picks. Sorry, I rambled a little bit here. I'm not the biggest college football expert, so some of these players I didn't see a lot of. Obviously, the first round, I paid attention to a lot of the guys in the first round. Some of the guys in the second round I didn't know a lot about, but it is what it is. I think all in all, my draft, I got Jalen Waddell. I got Michael Carter, Ian Brock, um... Tylen Wallace, and then I went with uh, Tylen Grayson in the last round of the rookie draft because I wanted to pick a tight end, and who knows what he's going to do, but at least he was drafted. And he was a fourth-round pick, so I think he'll see the field. So let me know what you think in the comments section. Let me know your draft steals. Personally, from me, my draft steal, well, not mine, but the draft steal in this draft I think is is probably JVN Hawkins to the, well, he signed with the Falcons, but he went uh, 312, and I think he's going to be the steal of rookie drafts this year. So get him while he's ranked lower, because I think his stock is going to go up. So leave a comment, smash the like button, hit that sub button, and you know that JDev will return.